How's it going, YouTube family? Farley here. And tonight I want to do a contest entry for Sack Blabbeth. I hope I said that right. Sack Blabbeth 65. Uh, he's doing a contest entry for 30 subs. It also ties in to turning 30. And uh, he's a new channel to me. Uh, I've been subscribed to him now about, I don't know, about two or three weeks, I guess. And uh, he puts out a lot of content. He loves music. Uh, shows a lot of hard rock, heavy metal, but also some other genres, classic rock. Um, he's really showed all kinds of different types of music. So uh, you're uh, go subscribe to him because you're going to find that he's going to show some tunes that you dig as well. So I'll try to remember to leave a link down below so you can go and subscribe and possibly do an entry for his contest. And his contest basically is he wants you to show first record, CD, cassette that you bought or that was given to you. It's a little complicated for me um, because really there's like there's a period in which I bought stuff or had stuff handed down to me by my brother when I was younger back in the 80s and then all that music kind of got lost over the years and then starting back in 2005 is when I really started collecting music heavily again especially metal so the best I can do is tell you that I remember my brother giving me three cassette tapes when he went into the Navy. And those three cassette tapes were Iron Maiden, Power Slave, uh, Dokken, Beast from the East, and uh, Dio, Last in Line. Those were the three cassettes he gave me. Now... We, for a long time growing up, we lived in the same room. Of course, he was older than me. And so I would listen to, you know, his records and then cassettes. Um, but I remember the first ones he really handed me down from his collection were those three. And then, of course, I started buying my own stuff uh, back in uh, 88. I remember buying a Justice for All. And then it kind of just really got heavy uh, for about five year, five to six years collecting mostly metal um, and then went to college then went in the army and then in 2005 I went to see a friend of mine a college friend of mine out he lived in Toluca Lake California he took me to and he was big into record collecting and he took me to Amoeba Records which I just was blown away by and we had listened to some records at his house and I was like, God, it really just sounds so much better than any other kind of format. So he's like, well, come out with me and then pick up some records and then you can get your record player. So that's what I did. And I remember picking up these two records. There may have been more, but for the life of me, I can't remember any others. And I tried to find the ones with the Amoeba price sticker. I want to say there might have been a Dire Straits one. But I'm not sure. But I know I got, so this was 2005 when I started getting back into uh, collected music and uh, vinyl. Uh, Johnny Cash Showtime. You can see the little Amoeba sticker. Uh, this is a Sun Records recording. Um, it's one of those where it's the songs, but they add in audience noise to make it sound like it's live, but it's not. It's the studio tracks. And then I had really gotten into Ron Adams. I had got a couple of his CDs, but I saw this because I didn't have any of, of his music on vinyl. Um, this came out in 2002, I believe. Uh, so I picked this up as well. And I think the reason why it doesn't have the Amoeba stickers, I think it was new, so it was in shrink. But um, cool story behind this record. Uh, Ron Adams had made two solo records, Heartbreaker and Gold, and he wanted to release another album of songs kind of that he picked out. And he had done several demos that kind of got leaked over the years. But they were called 48 Hours, The Suicide Handbook, and uh, the, Pink Heart Se the Pink Hearts Session. And basically the record uh, company that he was with at the time, Lost Highway, went and picked out the, their, the songs they wanted on this album. So it's not his best. It does have some really cool songs though on here. 
Uh, my favorites being Nuclear, Hallelujah, Chin Up, Cheer Up, and uh, Dear Chicago. Uh, if you live in Tennessee, you might not want to get this album if you're like a real big like, I love Tennessee, and you know, every other state sucks. Because there's a song in here called Tennessee Sucks. So, but anyway, uh, a decent album. And like I say, this was um, really not new material. It's stuff that Ryan had recorded um, kind of went uh, away from uh, touring and ended up on this album. So, so that's it. That's what I got for you. Congratulations on your 30 subs. I know you've grown now. I think last time I looked it was at 40. So congrats. Uh, love your channel. Keep doing you, man. And, uh, yeah, I hope other people will go and uh, do your contest as well as subscribe to your channel, man. So, funny guy. Loves to have fun. Does some live videos, man. I really, really enjoy watching him. I like when someone has a little bit of, you know, of a personality to them. Because, yeah, I love looking at the albums and the music and stuff. But also to hear someone that's really enthusiastic or has a good sense of humor uh, can tell really good stories or lots of information about a band or an album. That's the kind of stuff I really, really dig. So anyway, take care. Hope everybody has a great weekend and you'll probably be seeing a few more contest entry videos from me this weekend. Take care. Bye out.